So in this lecture, we're going to see how we can create a 2D or a two-dimensional plot using MATLAB. So to create a 2D plot, we first need to define two vectors that will give us the values for both axes in the plot. So for example, we can say that X, for example, is going to be equal to the line space. And again, we used this command before of 1 to 100. And let me actually put some comments over here. So again, to put comments, you would use the percentage sign. And I'm going to say 1 to not Q, 1 to 100 with 100 points. And again, we saw this previously where we talked about the line space command. So that's basically just a vector from 1 to 100 with 100 points linearly spaced. And let me actually put a semicolon over here so that MATLAB doesn't give us the columns here in the results. And let's do the same thing for Y. So I'm going to do Y line space. But for Y, let's do something different. So for example, 2 to 2500. And then semicolon. And let's also put a comment over here. This is going to be two to 2500 with 100 points so now i've defined two vectors x and y and those are going to be the x-axis and y-axis in my plot so now i can use the command or rather the function which is simply just called plot and i can do x comma y and what this is going to do is of course it's going to plot or rather create a plot with this vector, which I've called x in the x-axis, and this vector called y in the y-axis. Now, I don't have to define these as x and y. I could also say, and let's actually go ahead and do that. I can say, for example, let's do x or not x. a equals x and b equals y. And let's go ahead and clear commands. So what I want to show you here is that you don't necessarily have to name your vectors X and Y. You can name them whatever. So now I'm going to plot A is going to be on the X axis and B is going to be on the Y axis. So these two vectors, you can name them whatever. The important thing here is that when you use this plot command, whatever vector you're putting here first is going to be on the X axis or the horizontal axis. And whatever vector you're putting here in the second place is going to be on the y-axis or the vertical axis so i can do again plot a comma b and what that's going to do is going to plot those two vectors so again remember that we defined a and x as a vector from 0 to 100 linearly spaced and we defined b and y i believe as a vector from 0 to 2500 with 100 points equally spaced and we can see that that matches this plot over here is basically just a line from 0, 0 to 100 and 2500 on the y-axis. Now, I want to show you one more thing, and that's that let's define y now. And actually, before we do that, let me show you what I meant before. So I'm going to do plot x comma y and hit enter. And let me actually close this figure first. And you can see that this plot looks just the same. So I defined A and X to be equal to each other, B and Y to be equal to each other. And you can see that if I plot now X comma Y, we get the same plot. So again, remember that what I was saying that these vectors don't necessarily have to be named X and Y. It's just the fact that whatever vector you put first is going to go on the horizontal axis or the X axis was typically called the X axis and the second vector is going to be on the y or the vertical axis but again you can name those vectors whatever you want all right so the next thing i want to show you is let's redefine y i'm going to say y equals line space as again 2 to 2500 but now i want y to have 200 points again remember that previously let me clear commands previously we defined y using this command over here now if you click on your top arrow on your keyboard that's going to take you through all the commands 
that you've inputted before. So sometimes it's helpful to see what you enter before, even though you've cleared commands from your command window. So we defined y previously like this. So we said y equals line space 2 to 2500. And again, we know that by default using the line space command or the line space function that is, that creates a vector with 100 points. Now, if we redefine y using this command, now this is still gonna be a linearly spaced vector between two and 2500, but instead of having the default 100 points, it's gonna have 200 points now. So let me hit enter. And what I wanna show you now is that if you try to plot x, y, you're gonna get an error. So plot x comma y, enter. And you get this error that says error using plot, vectors must be the same length. So the reason behind that is that we defined x as a vector with 100 points. And here we redefined y as a vector with 200 points. So that doesn't match the number of points between x and y does not match. So MATLAB cannot plot one versus the other because they don't have the same length. So it doesn't know what point in the x-axis to match with what point in the y-axis because they don't have the same length. So that's one important note, again, that the length of the two vectors that you're trying to plot for the x and the y-axis need to have the same length, or in other words, need to have the same number of points. So again, here, x has 100 points while y has 200 points. So that's why if you now try to plot x, x comma y, MATLAB's not letting you do that. Let me actually move this up because the vectors don't have the same length. So that's something that you need to be careful when you're trying to make 2D plots. The vectors that you're using have to have the same length. All right, so in the next lecture, we're gonna see how we can edit to the plots.